Good evening and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is evening prayer and meditation for Wednesday, September the 21st, the Feast of St. Matthew, the Apostle and Evangelist. Evening prayer begins on page 117. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. O God, make speed to save us. O Dios, dignate de bronos. O Lord, make haste to help us. Señor, apresurate a socorretos. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory al Padre y al Hijo y al Espíritu Santo, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Como era al principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Alleluia. Gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh Son of God, O oh giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. <laughs> Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 19 and 112. Psalm 19 begins on page 606. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts its knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep he has set a pavilion for the sun, comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins, and let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound, and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Hallelujah. Happy are they who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness will last forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. The righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending and to manage their affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be kept in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They put, they put their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until they see their desire upon their enemies. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their head with honor. The wicked will see it and be angry. They will gnash their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, but will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up, and then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. 
Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net, which was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, then drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into the vessels, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the close of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire. There men will weep and gnash their teeth. Have you understood all this? They said to him, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasure what is old and what is new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So if y'all know me, I've got a preference for um, Anglo-Saxon England and uh, the development of Christian Christianity um, in England, especially in the North. And so I would like to share with you a meditation um, from a sermon by the Venerable Bede, who was a monk and a priest of Jarrow, which is in the far north of England. And uh, I think you'll find it rather valuable. Jesus saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, follow me. Jesus saw Matthew, not merely in the usual sense, but more significantly with his merciful understanding of humankind. He saw the tax collector and, because he saw him through the eyes of mercy and chose him, he said to him, follow me. This following meant imitating the pattern of his life, not just walking after him. St. John tells us, whoever says he abides in Christ ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. And Matthew rose and followed him. There is no reason for surprise that the tax collector abandoned earthly wealth as soon as the Lord commanded him. Nor should one be amazed that, neglecting his wealth, he joined a band whose leader had, on Matthew's assessment, no riches at all. Our Lord summoned Matthew by speaking to him in words, by an invisible interior impulse flooding his mind with the light of grace, he instructed him to walk in his footsteps. In this way, Matthew could understand that Christ, who was summoning him away from earthly possessions, had incorruptible treasures of heaven in his gift. As he sat at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. This conversion of one tax collector gave many, those from his own profession and other sinners, an example of repentance and pardon. Notice also the happy and true anticipation of his future status as apostle and teacher of the nations. No sooner was he converted than Matthew drew after him a whole crowd of sinners along the same road to salvation. He took up his appointed duties while still taking his first steps in the faith. And from that hour, he fulfilled his obligation and thus grew in merit. To see a deeper understanding of the great celebration Matthew held at his house, we must realize that he not only gave a banquet for the Lord at his earthly residence, but far more pleasing was the banquet set in his own heart, which he provided through faith and love. Our Savior attests to this. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to them and eat with them and they with me. <clears throat> On hearing Christ's voice, we open the door to receive him, as it were, when we freely assent to his promptings, and when we give ourselves over to doing what must be done. Christ, since he dwells in the hearts of his chosen ones, through grace, through the grace of his love, enters so that he might eat with us and we with him. He ever refreshes us by the light of his presence, insofar as we progress in our devotion to and longing for the things of heaven. He himself is delighted by such a pleasing banquet. What more to say? Bede's got it down. Amen. Continue with that mag magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
proclama mi alma la grandeza del Señor. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Se alegra mi espíritu en Dios mi Salvador. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and defenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Matthew, and all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the witness of your apostle and evangelist Matthew to the gospel of your Son, our Savior. And we pray that after his example, we may with ready wills and hearts obey the calling of our Lord to follow him. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, into our hearts and awaken hope. We may know you as you are revealed in Scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joys. And all for your love's sake. Amen. <clears throat> At this time, I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <laughs> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Benedicamos al Señor. Thanks be to God. Demos gracias a Dios. May the road rise to meet you. 
Will the wind be ever at your back? May the silver light of the moon guide your steps in the darkness, and the crickets sing you on your way home. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us, be with you, and remain with you always. Amen.